Well guys, just got this radio uh, dropped off here at the house. Uh, one of a friend of mine actually. And it is a Midland model 1001Z. Um, I think I worked on one of these once before actually. I think I did. But anyway, um, from what he tells me is he hooked it up to a power source with a lot of current, like 20-25 amp power supply or something. And well, that in itself should not have hurt the radio in any way, shape, or form. So, um, the thing I guess I'm worrying about now is if this radio was actually hooked up to a power supply for 13.8 volts at 25 amp or at with or hooked up to a power supply of 24 volts at 25 amps <laughs> in any event the radio has an issue um, whatever whatever it was hooked up to it uh, the, the radio didn't lick it put it that way so I'm just going to power it up here right quick and well see what it's doing or not doing. So if you're interested in uh, hanging around and see if we can get this thing going, well stay tuned. Again, it's on the Midland Model 1001Z and it is blown up. Let's see if we can unblow it up. <laughs> Okay, so I got her hooked up to my power supply, <clears throat> 13.8 volt, uh, see, 12 amp power supply, and I'm going to hook it up to the dummy load, and we're going to see if it's doing anything at all, and then we're going to hook up the signal generator and see if that's doing anything, see if the receiver is working. Anyway, let's uh, turn it on. Okay, so it powers up. Let's see, zoom out to here. Channels all work. Channel nine. Yay. Already got a bit of a buzz in her. Um squelch. Working. Our gain seems to be working. Kinda. Anyways. And the radio appears to transmit. <clears throat> Let's go over to the watt meter here. Okay, so we're on channel 23. Watt meter. Modulation. This is where, which is on a dummy load. I got her on the 5 watt scale. That's modulation. Test one, two, uh, audio. Well, <clears throat> transmit seems to work. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Test one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Well, this seems to be fine. Well, let's hook up to the RF signal generator and See if receive is working. And he...
Make sure the channels are working properly. We're going to key up on each one through the dummy load. And make sure you, uh, that you're switching channels fine. Channel 1, 11. Channel 17, 18, 19, channel 20. Six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. 39, or 40 rather, <laughs> that's 39, 38, and channel 1, so, she's, uh, so she's working right, channel wise, 27255 so <clears throat> she seems to be transmitting fine. Make sure it's not a uh, broken solder joint on the inside because this is one of these radios that the front panel connects this, this is like a vertical panel and it connects to the main board with solder joints. If you remember uh, I don't know, a couple years ago I done a video on one of these type radios and it had a couple bad solder joints um, along the the edge say where two boards connect together and it also had these that the white connector on the other side here the joints would actually uh, break or the traces would get damaged so I'm just gonna try wiggling these. Make sure the pins are solid. Because if they were loose, she'd be doing it there now. So seems to be okay that way. Point. 
to take up the speaker wires there. I don't want them to accidentally do something stupid, like short out. After all, I'm trying to fix a radio, not destroy it. Alright, a little bit of tape is good enough for that. So now we'll just flip her over. Speaker jack's not all that great. I did spray it with contact, uh, contact cleaner. Push in on the board. Just make sure there's no bad solder joints. Doesn't actually appear to be anything wrong with the radio. Seems solid enough. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this is a working radio. So she's she's working fine here. So it could be something else going on at the uh, with the, possibly his antenna or his power supply is damaged. But the radio itself appears to be fine. It's kind of weird because we dropped the radio off and said like the front panel lights up and stuff, but there's no receive, no sound. So we figured the radio was damaged. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. The radio appears to be fine. So, something else is, uh, going on. But, uh, whatever's going on. issue is not with this radio. <coughs> the issue is not with this radio. She's transmitting fine, she's doing 4 watts, she's modulating fine, she appears to be receiving fine, she seems to be on frequency, she's off a kilohertz, but that's pretty common. So. There's not much more I can do with this. <laughs> because it is...
So working radio. Test one, two. Hello. Test one, two. Test one, two, one, two, one, two. Audio. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, I don't know. Let's uh, see. Working radio. Strange. Oh, well. I'll give him a jingle back and. See what you got to say.